Ba -na 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 -na. Hey, welcome to Go Go Plays with himself. This is our Let's Play channel. I'm Dave Coco, aka the huge one, aka the idiot. And we're playing as our beloved Tampa Bay Devil Rays, first place, going against Phil Hughes and the Minnesota Twins at Target Field. And we're going to give Smiley the start. We had a little bit of controversy. We didn't know what we were going to do, but, you know, we're going to do the best we can. Today's topic, we had this requested by Andy Paps, one of the few people that watched the channel. Much love, Andy Paps. Um, just, and a couple people have asked me this, but just my thoughts on conspiracy theories. I figured I'd give my thoughts on it and then go on alternate.org and run down the top, what was it, 10 most popular conspiracy theories. Because we were about being popular, and this is a good time for conspiracy theory. Because I used to only have one dislike on this channel, and my last video got two dislikes. I say it's a conspiracy theory. It's a baseball theory. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. That's that's only funny if like, oh shit, is this asshole stuck? Yeah, he's stuck. All right, well there's a conspiracy theory. If you don't pay attention to RBI baseball, the Minnesota Twins will wreck your ass. All right, so we got one hit. Let's break this down. Um, yeah, just my thoughts on conspiracy theories and all that. Um, I guess because I'm a crazy person, people think I have a lot of conspiracy theories. Um, I, When it comes to like news outlets, people telling me, I hold people to the same standard. Like A lot of people trust CNN, but CNN has failed you plenty of times. Uh, MSNBC, Fox, all of them have failed you. But because they have the most money, you trust them and flock to them. So I, you know, Alex Jones gets made fun of a lot, and the 9-11 guys get made fun of a lot. But for me personally, I I don't see a difference. Um, when someone tells me something, conspiracy theory or news, in my head, I just put them in a file and go, oh, that's what they believe, and then move on. And, you know, the big thing is, hey, this is a big question I get all the time, is do you think 9-11 was an inside job? And... You know, we'll talk more about 9-11 as it's on the list, but it's just a really popular topic. And here's the thing. I always say I don't believe the official story. And then people that blindly defend the official story say, well, wh what happened? What happened? What happened? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I think conspiracy theorists um, try to find out the truth, which is a good thing. But sometimes they're so blinded by the truth that they're afraid to say, I don't know, or if they're proven wrong, they flip the fuck out. So, like, you know, and 9-11, if you're like, oh, I don't believe 9-11 official story, they're like, well, what do you believe? Huh? What do you believe? I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't have the answers. And they're like, well, you know, they want, they want you to come up with a theory so that they can shoot it down. But... I honestly don't know. A lot of these conspiracy theories, I don't know. I've heard different stories, different sides, and I believe everyone's side of the story probably just as much as fucking anyone else's. I don't trust CNN, Fox News, all that. I, I just don't trust the government. It's simple things. And a lot of times people are like, oh, first off, the propaganda that makes conspiracy theory a bad thing is amazing. Like, if you could just take a class on propaganda... You know, oh, you have a conspiracy theory. You have questions about the official stories. Fuck you. You're fucking like that. That thing. The fact that I don't believe the official story and the public goes, you're a fucking idiot, is just completely genius by the establishment. It's just propaganda and marketing at its finest. You know, and it's so funny because, you know, a lot of Americans and Western culture people make fun of North Korea, but I don't see a difference when it comes to propaganda. America's propaganda and England's propaganda is freaking amazing. It's just amazing. Think about it. There are people watching this video that will dislike it or hate me because I said I don't believe the official story and I don't know what happens. The fact that you automatically hate me and think I'm an idiot, that is propaganda at its finest. It's just at its finest. Um, it's just, oh nice, a little a little bit there, so, all right, well, hopefully we beat the twins. So, um, a conspiracy theory is, A, I love stories, B, I'm an angry person that doesn't trust anybody, and C, I just, I don't have the answer, and I don't want to get that fucking pumped up for not having the answer. And there are people out there that are trying to fight the good fight, good. But then there's also so much false information that it's ridiculous, so it's kind of one of those things. And, um... I don't know. And here's the thing. Um, I, I, I used to work in media. 
I know, because I stutter. I, I got a rare disease where I can't talk as good, and, you know, it fucking, I, it really bothers me. Thanks. Thanks for bringing that out of me. Um, but I used to work in television, radio, and news, and a lot of newscasters and a lot of people are like, oh, how do we get rid of conspiracy theorists? It's so easy to get rid of conspiracy theorists. You ready? Do your fucking job. If the news legit did their job, well, here's the thing, like, oh, 9-11 is an old story. Well, the public still cares about it, so give what the public wants. But you're like, oh, no, 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 we got to cover important issues. No, you don't. You, you're, you got a vice, pre a vice president elected fucking, I don't know what the fuck Sarah Palin is, going against the scientist, and that's hitting your news everywhere. You're talking about who can use which bathrooms. You, you fucking, like, there's tons of fluff TMZ type news in the real news. So no, it's not a time issue, and not all that, but you repeat the stories over and over, you do stuff for ratings. So, yeah, you want to get rid of, I don't know, I'm just picking on Alex Jones, because he's probably the most famous, but you want to get rid of the Alex Jones types? Do your fucking job! Like, even if you know it's bullshit, you know, you're like, oh, I fucking, you know, in your heart of hearts, you're like, oh, no, 9-11's not an inside job, the official story is absolutely true to the fucking team. But if there's enough people that fucking believe that, then investigate it. Fuck. It's okay. We don't have to know, you know what I mean? It's just, news people are full of shit. And they're like, oh man, we want to get rid of uh, all these conspiracy theorists. You can get rid of conspiracy theorists in one day. Do your fucking job and ask the questions people really want to hear. There's never a conspiracy theorist again. I think those conspiracy theorists are taking off, A, because of propaganda, but B, also because the media is at an all-time worst when it comes to integrity. Absolutely horrible. They don't believe half the shit they're saying. You know, so that's it. But as far as me, I don't, tr I have trust issues and I love listening to stories. So I'm a big fan of conspiracy theories. But to be angry and be like, oh, this is fucking fact and all that, I just don't know. I honestly don't know. And I think we should teach children and we should report the news where we say, hey, this is a percentage of people believe this, a percentage of people believe this a percentage of people believe this and then have people make up their own minds but it's hard to sell ads when you do that whoa whoa it's choppy as fuck folks come on steam get your shit together there you go all right so let's let's break this down this might have to be a two-parter all right come on jennings let's let's get a run here i don't know if i'm better when i'm not paying attention and just podcasting or oh man it's getting choppy, folks. It is getting choppy. And it's not my computer, just sometimes Steam X up, especially on RBI Baseball. Oh! Oh, baby, go, go, go! I was thinking about going home again, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm good. I think I made the right call, folks. And we're up one nothing. Come on, Cabrera. And the top ten list I'm reading on is Alternate. I just Googled that they came up, and it was nice and easy to read, so I'm going to go off that. And just give my opinions. And, you know, have your own opinions and be open-minded. But I say it's a conspiracy. We only had one dislike on this channel. Now we have fucking three. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. All right. So first one, Lee Harvey Oswald didn't act alone or possibly at all. Um, that's the JFK assassination. I, I, I don't think. Because here's the thing about conspiracy theories. One more thing. A lot of times people just don't want to believe their government is evil, and it is. And I used to work in the government, and here's an example of the story. I'm going to give you my own conspiracy theory. We we shot machine guns off on Mount Fuji for testing, and we shot, it was really snowy, and we shot in the wrong direction. And the bullets went towards town. And we spent nine hours just coming up with an official story and no one gave a shit like no no one we were so far out in the fucking woods on mount fuji that no one even knew we shot towards the town and i just remember sitting there going you know we're lying we're coming up with a lie and all that but even break it down even more um i do bingo for um you know for kids and i don't curse as much so um but i do bingo imagine if i did imagine if i cursed as much as i do on coco please as much as I did for bingo. Uh, B3, motherfuckers! Uh, <laughs> come on, D-Jesus. Oh, D-Jesus, I don't want you to bunt, you drunk bastard. There we go. Tease him with the bunt and go with the pop-out. Old D-Jesus strategy. All right, come on, Rivera. It's choppy as balls tonight. 
when, it, when, it, when steam is being choppy, we just act like that's a weather condition. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, and even bingo. Um, every time I do bingo, every single kid wins. Do you believe that they're all that lucky, or is there a little conspiracy behind it? And Dave Coco is just a nice fucking guy. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't understand people that don't believe in any conspiracy theories and believe the official story throughout, because that's just insane. Um, I was in the military, we shot out of town, we weren't supposed to, and we spent fucking eight hours on an official story. And no one even fucking knew. No one. No one in Japan knew. No one fucking... And no one ever found out. So, yeah. And conspiracy happened all the time. As far as Lee Harvey Oswald, I don't have enough information. I just don't think he acted at all. A lot of this is just going to be my personal opinion. And a lot of times people are going to be so mad. Like, how fucking dare you? Um, and the things that light up about um, conspiracy theory... What the fuck are you doing? I got a conspiracy that this fucking asshole's from Minnesota. What a piece of shit. The thing about conspiracy theories is when someone asks a question and you're like, you fucking idiot, you're unpatriotic. That's when I'm like, oh, this might be real. You know, and they don't open it up and all that. Um, yeah, I don't think he acted well. I think there was multiple shots and all that. But, you know, I don't have the fucking facts. Um, and I think even if you do have the facts, they're going to fucking stop it. Princess Di uh, Diana, I'm totally slaughtering her name, but the princess who was killed on purpose is the second. I can't believe 9-11 wasn't the first one. Maybe it's just our generation. Well, Lee Harvey Oswald was a big deal. Like, I remember um, I was on television, and this is in between on-air takes, and younger people and older people had, like, this small argument of what was a bigger deal, JFK dying or 9-11. And me being middle-aged, I guess, I was like, it has to be 9-11. Like, I'm surprised 9-11 doesn't, isn't higher up on this list, you know? Lee Harvey Oswald, yeah, that's a big deal. I'd say definitely number two. But 9-11 is not even in the top four? All right, all right. I mean, this is all you motherfuckers talk about online. <laughs> all right. Or maybe we... Ah, oh, fuck me. All right. Prince Dan was killed on purpose. I... I'm leaning towards probably not for one reason, one reason only. It's just way easier to poison someone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, why would it be a car wreck? Didn't someone die with her? Maybe, you know, paparazzi? I don't know. This one's a little bit harder for me to buy. But then again, I don't have the fucking research. So, um, But I guess you want, you want my opinions on it, so I'm giving it to you. This is for you, Andy Paps. Andy Paps, if we get any dislikes, that's on you. The blood is on your hands. Maybe Andy Paps. Oh, fuck me! I should have ran a second. I, I do that a lot. I'm like, oh, it's an out or a home run, so I'll just fucking chill out on first, like a jackass. Oh, well, I would have been out anyway. Um, I don't think so. I think it's just easier because in a car wreck, a lot of shit could go wrong. You know what I mean? Maybe there are people that wanted her dead. I don't know. Um, but I, I don't think so. I, I don't because not a lot, but she. I don't know, but it depends on how far down the conspiracy you go. But most people know that, allegedly, the royalty has no power whatsoever. So, but, fuck me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got a conspiracy. I might lose to the goddamn twins. That I have to keep the lead. I noticed I'm not very good in the last three innings. So, I get all my scores in the beginning, and then picture and defense holds up. Conspiracy. Alright. Ah, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch times two, bro. It's... No. Fuck. Fuck me. Fuck. Breaking news. I'm not doing too good. Alright, let me focus on this and I'll get back on your conspiracy. If I don't get to all ten, maybe this will be a two-parter. Or maybe a double-header. I don't know. I have to go to work soon. Let's see. We haven't done a double-header in a while. Actually, I think we've only done it once. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, come on. All right, let's see if we get it. Oh, come on, um, Give me a fucking call here. I'm trying to paint the corners, you son of a bitch. That's... Oh, okay, I thought you said out. It's out. Oh, it's choppy as shit. All right, let's...
Let's see. This is my favorite RBI baseball. Yes! That's my favorite RBI baseball pitch. The inside, inside pitch curveball. Yeah. Oh, this guy's arm is dead tired. Well. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Shit! Well, I got a strikeout, but I threw a fucking knuckler, so that asshole had a free pass. Alright, should I... You know what? It's up to you if you're going to lose the game. I know you're dead tired. Fuck. I probably should bench him. I have a conspiracy that Dave Coco fucking sucks at managing the RBI baseball. At playing in life in general. Alright, dude. Just swing, strike this motherfucker out. Show him that you're the fuck. Yes! You are the man! Woo! Alright, I'll probably relief you, but I'm hoping to get a run so you at least get a win, folks. Look at that. Up next. Oh, D Jesus. I love your fucking... I love your optimism in that picture, but Jesus Christ. Alright. Come on, Beard. Bow! Alright. Uh, Princess Diana. Yeah. Next, number three. Uh, AIDS is a man-made disease. I, I could see that. I could fucking see that. I mean... I think the original story that I was told in the 80s is some dude fucked a monkey and traveled on a plane. I don't know if that was an official story or just fucking crazy people in New Jersey <laughs> telling me how AIDS started. But, like, they were like, a gay guy fucked a monkey, went on a plane, now we all have AIDS. And I was like, I don't know how scientific that was, but that's what I was told in New Jersey about AIDS. <laughs> um, so, I... Yeah, I could see. Because, you know, they always do that fucking testing shit, and then fucking... Yeah, and there's been papers. Then they, like, I think there's a bunch of black men they put an STD in back in the day. So, yeah, I don't know. I could see it being man made. Man, man is a fucking dick. Oh, come on. Oh, Kaimar. Oh, man. This is your last chance, and you're being. I should have benched him. Why am I so fucking nice? Alright, it's choppy as fuck, dude, and I'm fucking losing my cool here, folks. Alright. You know what? I Fuck me. I, I blame... Fuck, this is my fault. I'm... Fuck. Fuck. I'm sorry, man. I really let you dig guys down. If you guys are watching for this, for the baseball, I'm really fucking letting you down. Smiley, fuck you, dude. We tried. We tried. You get cards, Gloom, Yates. Sure, we'll get Yates in there. One. Yates, get in there. Nice fucking... Whoa, Yates, you got the fucking thunder, baby. Fucking yeah. After having a pitcher who couldn't pitch for shit, it feels weird having a pitcher that can fucking run over 90 miles per hour. Oh, Tory Hunter, he still plays? All right, look at this guy's name. Oof. All right, God damn it! Don't make fun of the names. They get pissed off. The government was involved in 9-11. Uh, I lean towards I don't believe the official story, and I do, I don't know how much the government was involved, but I call it fucking shenanigans. It's just little shit. Like, these are the things that don't make me believe the official story. They're, they're, first off, Building 5 or whatever, the one that fucking fell, it, you know, is a real controversy. That, and also, you're not American if you believe that. that that's where, like, that's that, that's my, uh, that's my uh, wake-up call. When someone calls you an idiot or unpatriotic because you asked a question. That's like the fucking... Woo-woo! Conspiracy fucking theory meter goes off the fucking chains with me. Um, but they found the guy's wallet. That that was bullshit. The Building 5. And, yeah, just just in general. Just, yeah. I don't know what the government knew and didn't know. I just know the official story is full of shit. And uh, hopefully one day we get a president that fucking tells the truth. If I ran for president, I would fucking tell the truth about all this shit. Fuck the, fuck the elite. Uh, Elvis never really left the building. This is, a, yeah, that's kind of a, like, that's, you know what, this is kind of a cute conspiracy, considering everything else. Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, everything else is like, president died, princess died, AIDS was fucking created, fucking 9-11, you're just like, oh, fuck. Like, here's one, like, Elvis never really left the building. You know what, this is a nice, happy fucking one. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, they... According to this, it, it helped Nixon with the anti-drug movement and all that. And that's a possibility. Um, I don't know. I'd like to believe Elvis is nice, chilling out in fucking Hawaii. Yeah, you know, I'd like to believe Elvis is retired, 
doing his own fucking Let's Plays. I hate you, Geyer, but you're coming in. That's what I, I want to believe that right now, somewhere Elvis is sitting down going, Hey guys, welcome to my RBI Baseball Let's Play channel. Well, that was choppy as fuck. Hopefully, hopefully Elvis's stream is better. That was choppy and lucky as fuck, folks. Choppy and lucky as fuck. Whew. The choppiness is getting us. All right, baby, who is this? Cabrera, what do you got? One for three? Bow! Fuck me. We might go extra innings. Maybe we don't have to do a doubleheader, right? We're going extra innings. Oh, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna relieve people once they start getting tired. All right, let's let's fucking rock this shit, man. Conmire, I love you, but you really fucking shit the bed, Yates. You know what? You are fucking the man. I have no idea why I don't bring you in more. Come on, we gotta win one here in Minnesota. Jesse, let's win it for Jesse Ventura. A big conspiracy theory. So, um, I'd like to believe Elvis is still alive and happy, and you know, just chilling the fuck out playing. On YouTube. Yeah, you know, I'd love to believe that, but I don't know. But out of all the conspiracy theories in the top five, Elvis is the only one that's like, you know what? I'm fucking, I'm glad, I'm glad there was one that wasn't a horrible fucking disaster. The 1969 uh, moon landing didn't happen. This is one of those that conspiracy theorists work me over. Love. I thought, oh, no, no way. No way they didn't fucking land on the moon. But then, you know, you got Joe Rogan and all those guys showing clips, and I was like, oh my fucking god. Uh, you know, some people believe they did land on the moon, but fucking a shit ton. I don't know, there's so many goddamn conspiracy theories. This is one of those, I, I, I you know, conspiracy theories changed my mind. I was like, of course they landed on the fucking moon. Why would they lie about that? And then the more you go, I was like, oh, maybe they didn't fucking lie. Um, but here's my thing. This is what makes me think they really did land on the moon. Or didn't. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I thought I was making a case for that they really did land on the moon, but the more I think about it, maybe it's a case that didn't. Um, why the fuck haven't we been back? I mean, fucking go to the moon. We should be, it's fucking 2016. I'm playing RBI baseball for Andy Paps. Get the fuck out of here, you 0 for 3 bullshit catcher. Going over conspiracy theories in Japan, and he's watching this in New York where we're getting thumbs down. I mean, fucking come on. You can fucking, we should have a, we should have a pizza on the moon for Christ's sake. Gotta get on that shit, NASA. Um, no, I always thought we landed on the moon, but then I watched a couple of video clips and I'm like, oh, maybe we didn't. I don't know. Or maybe they just, oh, Kymire, fuck you! You fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! I'm over here talking about landing on the fucking moon. It's a goddamn conspiracy that you fucking got two strikes. I hate you, Kymire. Take your fucking platinum glove and shove it up your ass. I can't see anything. Oh, thank baby. Thank baby D Jesus. Alright, come on, Franklin. Do this for Rutgers. You really shit the bed last game. There we go. It's choppy as fuck. Am I gonna make it? Oh, good news. Oh, well. You know what? I thought it was gonna be worse than that, so. I don't think I have anyone else on the bench. Alright, we're going extra innings, folks. Um, yeah. So, in theory. I used to think it would definitely happen. The more I fucking watch shit on YouTube, I'm like, yeah, maybe we didn't happen. But even if it didn't happen, we should fucking be there now. You know what I mean? Uh, UFO ca uh, crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. This this shit like pisses me off because like, how the fuck haven't we figured this shit out yet? Like, if it was like in Mexico or you know something like that, but fuck you. I mean, a lot of these I get pissed off at the politicians because. You can literally just be like, all right, come to Roswell. This is what it's about. All right, we're fucking done. Wrap it up. So, like, shit like Roswell pisses me off because, you know, media, government, you can all take away these conspiracy theories overnight. You know, Donald Trump always talks about it. And, like, I hate Donald Trump. I hate everyone, so that's not fair to Donald Trump. But, you know, why can't one of these fucking presidents, Obama, I'm looking at you, motherfucker, be like, yo, this is what's in Roswell. Let's go. Let's fucking let's get ABC News. And be like, oh, look, we fucking have a dragon. I'm like, no way, we have a fucking dragon. Fuck yeah. I mean, or a fucking UFO or something. Get the fuck over yourself, stupid government assholes. Uh, global warming is a hoax. I know this is going to sound bad because I'm a fucking hippie motherfucker and I volunteer and I go to a fucking place. I'm, for those that don't know me outside of me playing RBI baseball badly, 
Good job, Longo! Ooh, should I go to second? Alright, he's going to second. That's a bad idea. Go back to first. Alright. Alright, thank you. Oh, I shouldn't have swung at that. But I'm a hippie motherfucker, and um, I, I, I just do hippie bullshit all the fucking time. And, uh, matter of fact, my agent yelled at me today for being such a hippie motherfucker. Uh, they're like, stop being a fucking hippie so we can make money. I'm like, no way, hippie for life. My agent's like, I'll do all the talking. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm a pretty hippie motherfucker, so this is going to come as a shock. I don't think humans can stop global warming. I think we're fucked. I think global warming is a fake monster, but here's the thing. I don't fucking complain about it because if we make the world a better place, fuck it. We're cleaning it. You know, if, if, if we go to a bunch, of a bunch of people in the world and we say, oh, there's a boogie monster in your closet, you better clean up your room, and the boogie monster is not fucking real, but people are cleaning up the room, then I'm on board. The only thing I hate, though, is, you know, fucking government officials get to pocket so much goddamn money and be full of shit. Um, I, I do think we are destroying the world. I don't think they're, I don't think, like, the idea of what global warming is is real. I just think we're destroying the world. And I think it's too late. I don't think they're stopping it. You know, like, look at a recycling programs. Please go out of your way. Like, I, I love motherfuckers like, oh, you fucking recycle. <laughs> recycling is the biggest fucking scam. You know, recycling is just there to make you feel good, right? You know, that's not real. Fucking I'm a conspiracy theorist. But no, just go and follow. Like, I remember getting an argument, and I remember doing this with a bunch of young people, young fucking hippies, Japanese young hippies that want to save the world. I said, follow that fucking can. Follow it. Follow that plastic bottle. See how recycling works. Go to your local McDonald's and see how they fucking put the... Like, go. And not even that in Japan. They... All right. I didn't think I was a conspiracy theorist, but yeah, I think global warming. But, because the thing is, it's always, well, how are you going to stop global warming? Oh, we should tax everyone. Uh, <laughs> I, I see how we're playing this game. Fuck me, right? Fuck me. Still tons of garbage in the ocean. Plastic bottles stacking up in the fucking Middle East beyond fucking could be. There's garbage fucking everywhere. But you're going to tax me and that's going to solve the fucking problem. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm on board now. Now, I didn't think I was a conspiracy theorist, but I do not believe in global warming. I do believe in making up a boogie monster to scare people into fucking... Holy fuck, I just lost the game! Holy fuck. Fuck me right in the fucking ass, dude. The bottom of the ten. Fuck, I knew... Fuck. Oh, God, I'm horrible at this, folks. Oh, see, I got... I, you know what? Here's my conspiracy theory. Global warming costs the raise to lose. Oh, and Yates gets the loss. What a punch in the dick for Yates. Well, I guess he did give up that fucking three-run shot. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, Yates, I'm sorry to fuck you, man. That's on me, bro. Oh, I, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. This one hurts because I thought we would sweep the Twins. I did not think we were going to have a problem with the fucking Twins. God damn it. First, we triple our dislikes on this fucking small-ass channel. Then I fucking start rambling about how global warming isn't fucking real. And then, bam, look at that. Four to fucking one. It's a conspiracy. I say it's an MLB, Tengen, Minnesota. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's read these last two. All right, here, while I read these last two, you can look at my fucking horrible stats. What are we looking at? Look at that. Our fucking, our two leadoff guys that's dude. We need Ichiro. I, you know what? I would upgrade to RBI 16, but dude, there's no fucking creative player. There's no trades. Like, because the Devil Rays are such a great team. You make fucking one or two trades. Ah, oh, well, well, fuck. Sorry, Yates. That's on me, pal. I don't know. I don't know if global warming's real, but I'm going to say this. Global warming definitely calls the Devil Rays this game. All right, Shakespeare didn't write all those plays. That's kind of... That's kind of easy to say, yeah, because, like... Does a writer always really write his book? Like, I have a book coming out. Hopefully I'll give you more details on future Coco Plays. I have actually a couple books coming out. I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys buy them and love me. Um, but, yeah, like, even though my name's going to be on the cover, I try to give credit. Like, it's hard to write a play and a thing by yourself because you have editors, you have co-writers, you have publishers, you have agents. 
So I don't think this is a conspiracy. Shakespeare didn't write all those plays. And it might have been like a Dr. Seuss pen name thing. Um, I don't even think this is a conspiracy. Like, Shakespeare didn't write all those plays. Eh, well, all right. Yeah, of course. Fucking, yeah, of course. Because I'm sure he had editors. He had people that helped. Um, and maybe someone just penned his name. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't even think that's a conspiracy. It makes your top ten. Fucking, all right. And ten. <laughs> Reptilian humanoids control all of us. You know what? I think this is the most ridiculous conspiracy theory out there, but I love it. I absolutely love it. And I I just think it's such a great fucking story. Um, and you know what it is? If this was a real conspiracy, how awesome would that be? I know it sounds fucked up. I mean, we lose it anyway. Let's... Oh, the NWO! The Rep- Reptilians or fucking the Minnesota Twins. Spoiler, motherfucker, we all lost. I don't give a fuck who's driving this goddamn bus. The humans fucking lost. Um, so I don't know. I would love to see Reptilian humanoids fucking control us all. At least then I would fucking be like, hey, we didn't fuck ourselves over. You know, it'd be great. Obama, Hillary, all those fucks. Bush. Oh god, it would be so great if they were fucking lizard people. Oh, it would be the greatest thing in the world. I don't believe it at all, but I it's one of my favorite conspiracy theories. I don't know, that's why conspiracy theories are so fucking great, because they also have great stories. Uh, well, hopefully one day we'll learn the truth, you know? I don't know. It would be cool to learn the truth about all this stuff. Um, so there you go. I hope, Andy Paps, that was for you. I hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have a topic you want me to hit, maybe another top ten list. Maybe, you know, whatever. I have a couple topics that I want to catch up on. And I don't know if I'm going to do sports anymore. I do a sports show. You guys ask me to talk about sports. I talk about sports and conspiracy. We got two dislikes. No one even, I don't even think two people watch this goddamn channel. We got two dislikes. It's a conspiracy. Uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully I didn't make you all too angry. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Coco plays. With that, I am over. Ba 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 ba